Welcome folks to Nottinghamshire and another of my adventures on the bike in today's episode. I'm going to be heading home from the campsite. Great sleep, had a plenty of uh, recovery. It's half eight in the morning, just heading down to Newark now to meet up with somebody you've probably seen before a couple of times on the channel, that's Paul Green. And he's also bringing along Ride With Roy. So I've got about an hour and a half to go <laughs> half an hour up the road. So I've, I was just, it was just ready time to go. Uh, if you've done while camping or camping, but it's time to go, it's time to go. Stopped here by the river, bit of a trent. One of those rare occasions where I've got time to waste, I'm not rushing around from one place to another. So uh, yeah, let's show you the bike. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, I didn't really show you much of the setup. So it's a Roo, I'm not sure how many gear it is, is it 21 gear? Uh, it's not a tiny shot, it's a triple chain set anyway. FX mounted onto a Super Tourist DX disc brake uh, compatible rack. So yeah, a few bungee cords and everything's holding in place. We really have gone light, uh, lightweight this morning. But yeah, that's the setup this weekend. Uh, probably get my next weekend, I'm probably gonna go back onto the road bike. It's with uh, KJ in Scunthorpe at the moment because the, uh, the, the gears are all over the place. So they're just gonna take a quick look at that. So in this video, I'm going to answer one of those questions from down in the comments. How long have we been cycling for? Well the answer to that one is... It's either 2014 or 2015. So six or seven years ago now. I started commuting to from work. My partner at the time wanted me to get a little bit fitter, lose some weight, stop smoking. As did I. I needed a bit of motivation, I needed a tool to enable me to do that. And the first of those was buying a dog, going for dog walks and then it progressed to buying a bike and from there it moved to putting the dog which was a chihuahua in a backpack and taking it with me on the bike and then eventually I dumped the, dumped the dog not interested in the dog anymore so I commuting to from work you know three or four days a week one thing led to another I think my first sportive was about 75 miles absolutely knackered by the end of it and that was the Lincoln Grand Prix which I'm hoping to enter this year side side topic uh, tried to last night they said you already entered I'm like did I enter in 2020 so the 2021 edition is in October this year obviously things have shifted the season has been extended that's the one with the climb up micro gate in the city centre, that's Lincoln city centre. So I've got that to look forward to later in the year. And apparently I've already paid for my ticket, which is a bonus, I forgot about that. But I do just need to double check on a laptop, make sure. And from Sportives, I went on Tordax, which is a long distance organisation. Uh, lots of things happened in between those. So where I am now, giving or doing all the adventure stuff, long distance stuff. different sight in Newark I've not seen before. Castle there right in front of me, a lot left of it. See look, it gets all lit up at night. What a great uh, little spot like this is. Why have I never stopped here before? Because I'm always in a rush somewhere. <laughs> They're at the Bean and Vine in, New, in Newark, and they said New York. Newark no, not in marketplace. We're well, not in New York, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're at the Bean and Vine. Just about to enjoy Paul English. Here with Paul, Rad with Roy, and uh, Paul's wife, Jane, I sat over there. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Good morning. She's been on a vlog and asking around two vlogs. Hurry up, because I want to get my sandwich. Oh, yeah, I know. They're really nice, then. I've gone for the full English. Good big one. Yeah, happy Sunday, everyone. 
So that's enough, let's tuck in. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. So I'm here with Roy. How are we doing? How are a good morning? Feel legs feeling good? Feeling great, yeah. Just going... I, I can switch the electric on if, if they feel tired. <laughs> yeah. Whichever way you go home, there's a hill involved. Whichever way I go home, there's a hill. So it's <laughs> nice to have the assist at the end. So we're just going down the NCN 64 at the moment. Towards Stapleford. I was just saying one of the old acts where it starts and finishes at Newark Station. It's the, uh, I think it's called don't forget your dividend card <laughs> for the co-op yeah because it's, it's probably got its name for the amount of co-ops you stop at along the route we were saying do uh, an Ordax at some point in the future yeah, maybe next yeah. year when things get back to normal Looking and forward to that there's Lincolnshire Ordax probably come back again but this year it's, it doesn't seem to be happening at all so Roy in front of me has his own YouTube channel I'll drop a link if you want to go check it out so uh, we're heading through Stapleford Woods at the moment well it's just up the road as we leave Newark via Boulderton. I'm told it's going to be headwind today, so looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm sure it's much quieter than this normally, but I think there's some kind of road diversion in place. Gate, you know what I've been doing. <laughs> right, anyway, a um, few weeks' time you'll see Roy again, along with Paul. Uh, Julie and Mike Wheeler, I don't know if you're familiar with their channel, Wheelers at Large they call themselves. So there's going to be five of us vlogging Birmingham's canals on uh, the summer solstice, which of course as always, if you didn't know, it's 21st of June, it's the longest day of the year. So a different departure from the last few years, I'm really looking forward to it. The longest day this year is on Monday, so I'm going to spend some time Saturday riding, probably a little bit of Sunday, I don't want to zap myself too much, I still want it to be fun, relaxing. Uh, and a great opportunity for a social event. Sadly lacking in 2021 and pretty much non-existent last year. It's looking rather dull. Where's the sun gone? So who knows, I might get wet at some point. No waterproofs. Oh! <laughs> Morning. You'd be forgiven thinking that's a river or a lake or something, but it's not. It's a, I don't know, what is it? A field of bluebells? So I'm about to join the uh, Fled Re Viaduct soon. I was turning to go through to South Clifton. And I pushed my bike up a footpath to join it. Hike a bike. To join the NCN 64. I've been on numerous times, links the county of Nottinghamshire to the city centre of Lincoln. Google Maps was lying. I thought there was a little bit of, bit of a ramp. The ramp was a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. And then at the top of it, there's a bloody fence. So I asked some guy, I said, it's an easy way to get around. I said, yeah, just the other side. So this is going to take me across the River Trent at the viaduct. This be an old railway line, one of the beachings cuts. And now it forms part of the National Cycle Network. Like I said earlier, you can actually follow it in the opposite direction and it'll take you all, all the way into uh, the River Braveford in the centre of Lincoln. You can go along here on a road bike, no problems. Just a bit of light gravel. Dunham on Trent. Hopefully it's something exotic. Wildlife to show you. Ooh, ah. Look at this giant chimp. It's been moved. Hello. Good morning. You think some bananas going into this wind? Into my third mountain stage. The colder Eton. <laughs> and the last one is the colder Coningsbrook Castle. I don't know what that first one is. It was uh, something really insignificant. Just left Retford, behind me. I was hoping the Imperial Tea Rooms would be open, but Sunday afternoon closed. What? There's a, a pub there, a restaurant, one of these uh, expensive ones. So I didn't bother, I just had a quick pint, 
on again and I've actually changed the route as well due to the weather forecast but this was all supposed to be a pleasurable ride and there's rain in it now there's rain in the forecast I'm just gonna go straight direct line back home now I might get wet but I won't get as wet <laughs> I didn't want to be this to be about getting wet in the rain I didn't want it to be about pulling the miles in I didn't want it to be about you know a challenge kind of thing I want this just to be a nice relaxed this weekend so I'd rather avoid the rain if I possibly can. I seem to be outpacing the rain so far. More behind me. Can off to my left shoulder as well. As I head down here to Misterton, having just left Greenclear the Hill. I saw the guys at uh, Sporty HQ in Clayworth. I didn't realise the uh, flat 100 Sporty was over two days. So I uh, cheekily popped in and uh, topped some some water, which I really needed, it was getting quite low. I hope to see you next weekend. What am I doing next weekend? Ordak, the Tan Hill, 200 out of Lancaster. I need to get down there on a Saturday, do something, wreck the area, have a nice camping day on Saturday, because I want to make the most of these uh, Weekends, do a bit of camping, wild camping, but nothing too serious. I'm sort of laying myself back a little bit now. Now the TCR is not on. I've got 400 late this month anyway. I'm always in Wolds. And later in July, we're still roads and woolly sheep or something. I can't it's gone now. So still plenty to look forward to. May try and throw a 600 in at some point. I need to need to do it it is summer take advantage of these long long days it's been raining 15 minutes from home it actually threw it down so it's just been hiding in the trees <laughs> don't want to get wet there's like a, a big conifer tree and all the pavement was dry underneath i was like right that's my spot two minutes later faffing around on my phone to pass the time it stopped it's gone i'm gonna leave this here don't forget if you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Down in the comments you'll find a link to buy me a coffee. That'd be great, all the money goes back into the channel. Keep my adventures going. Right, talking about going, I am gone. Hope you had a great weekend yourself. Let me know in the comments below what you got up to, what your plans are for this summer as well. I'm gonna bid you adieu. See you later, bye bye.